Hello everybody and today we launch a space station to the moon in part of a four part series where first we launch a space station, then a surface space, then a rover, and then a way to get from the surface space to the space station. So yes, but this is the space station. It has room for about 10 kerbals if you don't count the gravity parts because the wheels with the, all the crew cabins, those are designed to simulate gravity because, you know, if you spin, you can simulate gravity. But anyway, we're launching Jeb, Bill, Bob, and Val, and one, one other Kerbal. I forget who. But yeah, we're going to the Mun, and we're using three boosters instead of four or two. I like to use three boosters now. Way more than four. Because two is too little and four is too much. So three is just really perfect. Anyway, we can continue to go up and prepare to separate the boosters around now. And they almost hit the rocket, but they didn't, so we're all good. You can continue to go upward. And yeah, this thing is extremely hard to steer. No. And it fell. Yay. Loaded a quick save that I made. And this time I'm trying it again. Actually, this is what I had to do a lot when I started out in Kerbal. Just flip over and then reactivate the engine. And then you might have to flip over again, turn off the engine, and then reactivate it when, you when you're back pointing upward. But... We did that and seems to have worked. Cause that's just the way, the way you do mun missions nowadays. You be crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, so now you can add a maneuver. Once your apophysis is around 80, we can, thanks construction workers. There are construction workers hammering stuff outside. They're loud and annoying. So anyway, we can turn off our engines around now. But actually no, let's go to around 85 or 80. It's good. So as you can see, this will just be an easy burn. 1000 delta V, not too bad, not too much. Warp there, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, activate. So we can extend all the solar panels so we don't run out of electricity because there are no uh, nuclear things. Thermo generators, thermal something to do with heat and nuclear. I think it's a nuclear reactor generator. Anyway, not important. We can use the surprise engine. I can't remember which one I picked. I picked the one that's designed for vacuum, but not really inefficient. Like. It's powerful. It's powerful and it works in a in vacuum. And it's not for making history. Okay, we can add the maneuver. Put the periaps rather low. Point maneuver. Wow, I put on way too many reaction wheels today. Normally I hardly put on any reaction wheels if you've seen some of my other videos. And it, where it takes like half an hour to steer the rocket. Obviously not that long, but. So time warp a bit. At first I was going to use a nuclear engine, except it said that my burn time would be half an hour and my orbit was only 20 minutes to do a full orbit. So I wasn't really sure how that was supposed to work. So I gave up on nuclear, switched to this. I've turned all the lights on, so it's glowing. See, they can spin really fast. I don't think the Kerbals appreciate spinning that fast, though, if you ask me. So we'll give them five rotations per minute. Rather reasonable. I think that's a good speed for simulating gravity. Anyway, there. There, at the bottom right, there's another Kerbal. That's the fifth Kerbal. We have uh, the survey scanners just for decoration. Because this is sandbox mode, so we don't need any science. 
But yep, we can keep firing the engine. And we can wait. Until we're at, like, till we're at the mud. We're painting my room today. I thought I'd just tell you guys all that. We're painting my room blue. Anyway, we can now turn off all of the view, so now we only have the rocket and the mun. There, we've got one antenna that's like way too big than what we need it for, but doesn't matter. A lot of batteries, and we're going, we're about to hit 3,000 meters per second. And we have hit 3,000 meters per second. Okay, we can keep going to the moon. This is in a new save point where at first I was going to go to Jewel and put a big space station around Jewel, but it was just too hard. Jewel is too far, too far for a big space station. But then I wanted to, but then I decided to go to Dress, but I already launched a space station to Dress. So I'm like, forget that. So then I'm like, let's just go to the Mun. Cause the Mun is easy, but it's cool. I actually don't really like the Mun. It basically just looks like Moho, the Mun. Like, cause Dress looks like the Mun and Minmus put together. Like Minmus looks really cool cause it looks like Min ice cream. Okay, we can just crazy time warps. Okay. There. In case you guys are wondering how I removed the staging from the reentry module at the front, the onion re no, pomegranate reentry module that can fit three kerbals. You, I did it by, you right click it, and you just go remove from staging and then it's no longer in the staging and you don't have to worry about it which is really nice so you don't accidentally decouple the main command module it's happened to everyone anyway can just i'm looking at the bottom left for those of you who don't know that's how i know what i'm doing i'm not like magic or anything i know my orbit perfectly so we can decouple there and Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and you can put a Kerbal on EVA and push the debris away. Whee! See you on my next Kerbal video. Whee! You can watch me go on EVA while the end screen plays and tells you all to subscribe. Okay, reboard the rocket. See you on my next Kerbal video. It's done. Woohoo.